All right, let's create this interaction using the new emphasis animation or feature, emphasis animation feature and articulate storyline. See how it pulses and we're gonna have it repeat and then we'll create this interaction. First thing that we're gonna do is, the first thing that we're gonna do is create, or the first thing that we're gonna do is have your blank canvas. Make sure that your design slide size is widescreen. 1280 by 720 is good. And from there, we're going to find an infographic. Obviously, when you're building out your course and it's not related to healthcare, then you won't be using it. Not related to heart health, then you won't be using it. But you can use the same emphasis feature to do something similar. So from here, I found an infographic that I liked, I downloaded it, exported the, the PNG file. And I came up with this, or I exported this heart. Let me delete all of this, okay? This heart. And right now it doesn't do anything. Actually, let me remove the emphasis animation. Right now it's not gonna do anything if you preview. There's no animation, there's nothing going on, all right? And the first thing that we want to do to add the emphasis animation is this new feature here that we got in Articulate Storyline called Add Emphasis Animation. Here, because we're doing heart health, we're going to add the pulse effect. And then you can change the duration. Let's preview what this looks like. Right now, it's not doing anything. I don't know why. Oh, here. If we go to the triggers, it's going to say emphasis picture one. We can call it heart. Emphasis heart using pulse when user clicks heart. So right now, if you clicked on it, it would pulse. That's not what we really want, but that's what it's doing for now. What we're going to do is change it. We're going to emphasize heart using pulse when timeline starts on this slide. Okay, now it's going to pulse for 0.75 seconds. Let's change that to two, two seconds. And then let's preview. Right now it's pulsing. Okay, and now to create the infographics feature where it's constantly pulsing, we're going to do, uh, first let's change the pulse amount to low to make it a little slower so that it's not constantly pulsing really fast. And... We're going to let it pulse for two two seconds. Let's preview. There we go. I think that's good. Maybe even three seconds. Okay, let's do three seconds. Pulsing to three seconds when timeline starts. But because we want the animation to look like look like this, let me show you what the preview looks like. Because we want the animation to look like this, where it's pulsing constantly throughout the entire interaction we are going to apply some more triggers on the right all right so after you add the emphasis heart using pulse when timeline starts we're going to add another uh, trigger so we're going to do emphasize we're going to do emphasize heart using the pulse not when the timeline starts but when the animation completes what animation the heart animation where it's pulsing once it's pulsing it's gonna do another pulse right after the animation completes and this should loop the heart pulsing throughout the entire duration of the slide see that now i would uh, to make it less distracting we don't want it to pulse too much let's make it i'll do like four seconds let's keep it at four seconds now when it pulses it should be soft enough so that you could just watch the entire or play the entire direct uh to click on the entire entire interaction without having to you know be jarring and that is uh most of the interaction now we're going to add some layers and triggers to create the other uh, create the other uh, effects
next thing let's kind of make the slide better let's create format background let's change the color since i already have the colors done um, you can copy the hex code here just type it in all right now we change and change the background background color now we want to add the borders around it the way you do that is uh, we're going to create a border like this and we don't want the the fill let's get rid of the fill but we do want the solid line solid line okay and we want sharp corners so let's do miter square and there we go now let's change the line color to be to be a dark green all right now we got most of it let's put this behind the heart layer so i can grab it shrink it down a little bit we do want to add a title let's do it anyway we do want to add a title so from here i'm going to get rid of the to make it look like it's not a complete rectangle i'm going to change this to be just the uh background color so now it looks like you know it's not a complete circle or a rectangle then we're going to add some text okay let's do babis babe babis parts of the heart parts of the heart make it bigger there we go um let's make shrink this down a little bit there we go parts of the heart change that color to be maybe this one okay all right so now we got <coughs> a big chunk done we are going to add some layers because this is going to be an interaction okay this is going to be an interaction so we can let's just do that later let's add some buttons for now what we're going to do is i've already done this but we're going to create a a button with made out of a circle so basically draw a circle let's shrink this up a little bit draw a circle add a drop shadow okay you can format the picture format the shape add a drop shadow and pick whatever one you want add a drop shadow change this to one let's do this to two before we do that let's create some interaction here let's let's delete it, this okay we want this to show layer one this will be maybe text one we want this to show layer one and it's going to show text on the right let's make this a little bigger layer one Okay, so what we're going to do is add another trigger. Create the trigger button. Let's do show layer text one. When user clicks, oval one. Okay. All right. So in text one, it's going to look like this. We're going to have a text on the right. And I just copied and pasted it, but you would just create some text for layer one. So that when the learner clicks this, let's preview. So that when the learner clicks this, that text shows up. 
Okay, we're also going to do that for layer two. Let's duplicate this layer on the right. Call that text two. This one's going to be something different. We're just putting a random text. So that when we click on this one, it's going to show layer two. Okay, let's test it out. Layer one, layer two. And if you some if you if you see the two texts overlapping for some reason, you want to make sure that your setting shows hide other slide layers. Okay, we've got a big chunk done. You can do another one here, maybe add a three. And then maybe add a four and just continue on with the layers, but we're not going to do all of them because this is just demonstration purposes. And that will be layer four or this, this will be layer three. We are probably 75% done in the, on the main slide, we need some instructions on what the learner needs to do. So I'm going to put some instructions here. Click on the icons to learn more. So let's preview. Click on, click on the icons to learn more or the buttons. And you notice how it's got this base layer text that's in the way. To get rid of that, there are multiple ways you can get rid of it by adding a trigger here. You can put, you know, change state of, <coughs> excuse me, change state of, this is text box two when to hit in, when the timeline starts, that's one way. Another way, which is more simpler, less triggers, is you come here, you see the base layer objects. You gotta figure out which text box it is and you just click on hide and then you notice that it disappears. So that's another way. So there's multiple ways to go about doing it. So let's preview one more time. So that, that goes away. And I know um, for these buttons to get the visited states, you can just here edit the state, add a visited state and change the visited color. That will give you the visited state. With that, we have the interaction, we're done. Maybe add another animation of this uh, float down. Maybe do this. Uh, maybe do a. Hey. Let's do this. There we go. A bit more interaction. And with that, we got our interaction. That is how you. Do the emphasis interaction, apply it to an infographic interaction. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask away. All right, now I got to edit all that.